Good morning, my beautiful diamonds. I had another great, great, great sermon on how to deal with peace. I mean, how to deal with stress. <laughs> Something that takes away from your peace. Scriptures for you to look up is John 14, 27, Proverbs 13, 10, 2 Corinthians 3, 18, and uh, Philippians, well, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 11, and Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Now you have a lot of people who they think that stress is when you can't handle life. One of the greatest stress relievers is to read the word of God and then do what it tells you to do. If you really want peace, you have to really want it badly enough that you're willing to make whatever necessary changes on yourself and your way of thinking. Don't focus on the circumstances or the people around you, but pray to God that he helps you to make the necessary changes wherever you need to. A lot of the times, <clears throat> things around us are never going to change. But what we don't have, even though things around us may not change, we don't have to let that get the best of us. It's important for us to know and to realize that Jesus Christ, he was surrounded with stressful situations all the time. He was rejected by family, rejected by friends. He was accused of being evil. His disciples needed a lot of correction on a regular basis. He had to deal with a lot of immaturity. And I'm sure that he was disappointed many times in the way that his disciples sometimes behaved. <clears throat> everywhere also that he went, you'll notice how everywhere he went, someone wanted something from him. Yet we know that Jesus Christ, he was always very peaceful. He was generous and very easy to get along with. He was kind and loving. He didn't let stress get the best of him. Now, these are some of the things that can cause stress. There's numerous things. One is guilt hidden sins, a poor diet, not getting enough sleep, health issues, trying to do things that God has not or no longer want you to do, not enough exercise, hanging on to the past. That's a huge one. Not having anyone to talk to or vent to or being codependent or living with someone who's hard to get along with and being around people who are not happy because they don't want to see anyone else happy. Just living in this world today with all the negativity that's going on in it today can prove to be very, very stressful. So the bottom line is if you want peace, you're going to have to want it. And I mean, you're going to have to really want it really, really bad. First Peter chapter three, verse 11, check that scripture out. You have to really want it and you have to be willing to change and do whatever you have to do just to have peace. You're never going to have peace with other people or with your circumstances if you don't first, this is, the, this is important, if you don't have peace with yourself first. Because one of the main problems that we have today is that there's a lot of people who really don't like or love themselves. When you start to love yourself and have peace with yourself, You'll find it, you'll be amazed, Betty. You'll be amazed at how easy it's going to get for you. So you should always, one of the things do is get a pen and paper and you should always try to see what are your peace stealers. In other words, what is it that tends to upset you? What drives you to the point where you lose your peace? And then apply once you make note of that, then you can make the necessary changes that you need to make. And the best way, the solution to all of this, when it comes to stress, anxiety, worry, aggravation, and the best way to deal with stress is noted at Philippians chapter four, verse six and seven. This is the perfect solution on how to handle stressful situations and people. So there you have it, my beautiful diamonds. Happy Mother's Day. 
I hope this proved to be helpful to you and for you. And I want you to have an amazing day. No one needs to constantly be dealing with stress because stress, that is one of the number one killers. It causes heart attacks, it causes strokes, and it can also lead to death. I love you and I want you to have an amazing day. Jehovah loves you and Jesus Christ loves you as well. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.